Okay, we're out for another adventure. And we have Connor, my grandson, with us today. And of course, sister. Oh yes, sisters look alike. Yeah. And the one that never wants to get his picture taken. Yeah. <laughs> and over here we got a nice old swampy area. And if you turn around here, there's an old abandoned cabin. Let's see if we can get up on it. You can tell it hasn't been occupied for a while. We got a little building over here. We'll show you this. Huh. You might think it's a little playhouse. But no. There's your toilet, folks. There's your outhouse. I think the floor kind of gave in there. Kind of <laughs> tiny, isn't it? Yeah, it's short. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. Uh, let's see. We'll come over here and see if we can see. What did you find? Oh, wow. What's in it? What's in it? A police officer friendly of Manchester. Nice. I mean, you're a cop now? <laughs> Porcupines love the two outhouses. Oh, this tree fell down from last time. Huh. This is new, Jeff. This tree fell down. You want to wallow over there and take a camera in? So they can... Where did that fall from? I don't know. It must have fallen off from a big tree. Right here. Right there. That tree off there broke off the top. We had some wicked winds here yesterday. Yeah, this is new. Why don't you take that over and... I'll leave it running, you can go over and... You want inside? Yeah, just see if you can get a picture inside and see what it... Alright, we're going to go inside here. Take a look around and explore this old building. This fell down from last time. Broke off from up there. There's the inside. There's an old oil barrel in here. Some other sort of junk. Nice shingling job on the house. No idea when it was built. Well, the tree has fallen pretty close to the house. Here we go into the house. The old chimney. Right here is something holding up the upper floor that's more modern than the original house. Gotta walk carefully. Some old bunk bed. And we'll continue to walk. A lot of stuff on the floor. Box of old nails. There's a rickety old staircase. Not in the best of shape. Maybe we can take a little walk these stairs a little bit. And just don't want to go up because I don't trust it. There's no bed. Looks like old sleeping quarters up here. I don't know what else there is. Chimney come up through. Chimney's gone. 
one. It probably was a hunting camp. We'll make our way back down. Oh, that looks like a box of rat poison. A little late for that. Now here's the kitchen. Talk about a tiny kitchen. There isn't much in here. This is where all the cooking took place, I guess. We'll go back out. Look in the back room. Yeah. A lot of toothpicks here on the floor. They probably use them to plug the little holes. The old bedroom. Old beds. Nice old bricks. Decks of cards. Most every place hunting camp or anything always has decks of cards around well we're gonna head out before we go through the floor here we'll talk to you later so I got the leg but this one is really really fancy got the face here and it says Quaker we got the wheat sheaths and this looks like shells it's just really really ornate really pretty we used to have such pretty stoves Wow, that was just really, really interesting. Nice. That was a cool one. Okay, I just come up the back of the cellar hole, and I found the well. Wow. It's got water still in it. Boy, that's a deep one. Check that out, guys. Nice. How deep is it? It's pretty deep. Look at the work. Nice. Okay, Connor. Yeah. You be careful staying on the edge, too. I don't need anybody falling in that. Okay, we gotta go over and see what sister's got now. I have a with some stars on it. It says something else on it. I think it's a pickaxe. See, there's, it looks like a shield with oh, yeah. stars and... There's something on there. Yeah, it does. Does it say fragile? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering was that with a shield in there. What do you think that says? Well, what it is. Yeah. All right. Okay. Look, that looks like. Watch it. Some glass here too, corners. Yeah. Looks like pieces of a cart. Oh yeah. You got the rim pieces here. It goes under a rock. So. Can I see that, Grandpa? I want to take a picture of it. Look back that way. Mm. That's a biggie. Is it picture worthy, Grandpa? Don't pick off the sisters. <laughs> this is us pumping iron. <laughs> yeah, there's another piece over here. Pick up, you put things down. Yes. Yeah. Another big piece here. Bonnie, you want to come with me? Stuff would just get left behind. We kind of think this is in the back of the barn area. All kinds of pieces there. There's a piece there, and I found this big ox pack. Yeah, you can just stand by it so people can just kind of see how big. Yeah, this is with an ox cat rim. Yeah. Pretty big one. Yeah, that's a biggie. You can see the bolts and stuff where they would hook to the spokes. and I are going to go look for. Okay, we might peck around here for a while and see what we find. Okay, you aren't gonna go help Grandpa find the next cellar hole? Uh, okay. Watch where you're walking, hon. <laughs> yep. Okay, Connor. I just found a suspender buckle. Suspender. Suspender. Turn it around. Nice. Good job. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Better get that in your bag for you lose it. You will never make it home. <laughs> I found a ring and a buckle. Yep. 
So go to a horse? horse or oxen. Let's turn this around. See that? That's a, I've never seen one like that. That is neat. And look, look at how much is the worn right up in here. Yeah. Got this little niche cut out and it's been pretty from rubbing. But look at that. Isn't that neat? That's a nice old piece. Happy? Happy digger? Mm -hmm. All right, put that in the bag. Okay. Bye. What you got? I found an old barn shovel. Yeah, show them the handle. Turn it sideways. See how they were split and the handle would go down in there and then they would nail it on. That's a nice old shovel from the barn area. But this place is huge. It's the biggest cellar hole we have ever seen. It goes way, way up that way. This is just in the barn area. Crazy. Okay. Okay, we have a spoon. It was in three pieces, but I got all three pieces. You see right there. That pattern was called Vesta. You can see it's got a little bit of a pattern around it. That was around, I want to say, 1880s. Very thin. And I found this here. I have no idea what that is, but it's got some threads on this side. But that was down in the same hole with the spoon. We'll get back to you when we get our next spine. Oh. Okay, I found two of these. This one's in better shape. That's the shape of almost like a lampshade. It's got three holes here, a big one here. And then it's got these other little bigger ones, and then around the bottom, all these little holes. I have no idea. Anybody knows what they were for? Let us know. I just found a bottom barn wheel that would open a, the barn door and it even still spins.